fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm Jessica Williams. Today is my favorite day. It's Friday. Woohoo! And if you don't have plans this weekend, I'm going to give you the rundown of events happening around town. But first, we have to talk about the 65th Annual Grammy Awards happening this weekend. This is music industry's top night of the year, and it will air here on CBS on Sunday. And there are some big names you can catch, including Adele, Bad Bunny, Luke Combs, Kendrick Lamar, Sam Smith, and even Beyonce. It's going down on Sunday at 8 p.m. here on Wayne 15. Now it's time for the social scene where I let you know about entertainment events happening locally this weekend. First up, the Summit City Comedy Club welcomes comedian Chico Bean for shows Friday through Sunday night. Chico Bean is one third of the 85 South show and you may know him from the long running show Wild and Out hosted by Nick Cannon. He has two performances on Friday night and you can check him out on Saturday and Sunday only at Summit City Comedy Club. On Saturday, Marshall Sherloff and Purple Experience bring their Prince tribute to Honeywell Arts and Entertainment Center located in Wabash. This five-person ensemble presents an authentic production of Prince and the Revolution Tour. Go to HoneywellArts.org for more information. Sunday night at the Clyde Theater, they welcome John Waite to Northeast Indiana. He'll be performing songs from the 80s and 90s, like his number one hit, Missing You. Waite is a solo artist, but also have group hits, like When I See You Smile. Tickets are available at Clyde's website for this reserved seating show. Also on Sunday, the Embassy Theater brings some comedy featuring Joe Ghetto's Night of Comedy. Joe is best known for his hit TV shows in Practical Jokers and The Misery Index. He's performed his live comedy shows to sold out crowds around the world and now brings his show to Northeast Indiana. Tickets are on sale at the Embassy Theater or online. And that's my social scene. And today on the show, I visit Monte Cristo Wine Bar located in Roanoke and give you the scoop about their menu and so much more. Bon Appetit. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. This segment sponsored by Monte Cristo Wine Bar. I am at Monte Cristo Wine Bar, which is a cute and unique bistro offering local charm and a wonderful ambiance. And I'm here with Erin, who is the owner. Hi, Erin. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. Yes, it's so great to come here. And when I walked in, Erin greeted me with a wonderful bread spread and a warm cappuccino, which is so great. It's just part of the charm. So please share with me about your business here. Absolutely. So we are a bistro um, during the week, Tuesday through Saturday, 8 to 4. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a cafe, so you can see the lovely coffee that we have behind us. We do have bread and pastries from the bread guy, and we also offer a full menu from breakfast and lunch items um, to really, you know, just be a part of the community here. Yes. Um, we do have different events in the evenings, mm -hmm. um, not every evening, so you got to make sure you check the calendar, <laughs> uh, but usually once or twice a month we'll have an event where we have the wine bar open. We have a full dinner menu with that, and we range from anything from live music um, to, you know, just having different people here to help entertain Yes. yes, and so how would you describe the vibe? So when someone comes in and you make them a nice cup of joe, <laughs> how would you in, uh, describe their experience here? You know, I want this to be a very, um, some place where you can go and sit and talk with your girlfriends. Yeah. 
somewhere you can sit and read the paper or just enjoy our free Wi-Fi. Uh, <laughs> you know, be able to just sit and enjoy yourself. If mm -hmm. you want to come and people watch, mm -hmm. um, we have this lovely little indoor area where we have lots of different stores in at the Waterfield Plaza. Yes, I love that because this little shopping area is so cute and so many nice finds upstairs, downstairs. And one of the finds here is the bread, guys. So yes. kind of share with me what you have here. So we do have a couple of different options. We have a croissant. Mm -hmm. um, we also, as part of that, do a croissant sandwich okay. in the mornings if you'd like. Nice. Um, we have a chocolate croissant and then a couple of danishes as well. Okay, wonderful. And I know that you have recently gone through a renovation in a way. Yes. You renovated your kitchen. We expanded did. Expanded it. So to be excited. Able to expand your menu. So yes. share with me about that transition and what you now offer. Yeah, so really we went from offering about three items for breakfast, three items for lunch, um, and a very, very tiny kitchen. And now we're able to offer, um, I think we have 25 different items wow. on our breakfast and lunch mm -hmm. menu including breads from the red guy, some yes. nice fresh bread. <laughs> um, and I have some samples that we can show a little bit later yeah. um, of the different offerings like that. But they're really, what we were looking at in expanding our menu was how can we bring lots and lots of flavor. Okay. Um, you know, I'm from a small town. I love our small town. Yeah. But I lived in a big city for several years. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that having these unique flavors that are somewhat healthy. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to always be fried. It doesn't mm -hmm. always have to be, it can be a little healthy right, and right. still taste really good. <laughs> so that's really what we were looking at in expanding our menu. Okay, wonderful. And one thing I love is that you all actually source your items locally. We do. They're all about local. So share with me about where you find some of these products and how important it is to have it fresh. Yeah, <laughs> you know, fresh ingredients make a huge difference. And, mm -hmm. and anybody from a really small town or if you've had your own farm, if you've grown your own vegetables, knows the difference between that and going to a big box store. Yeah. And so um, we, as much as we can, get our eggs from Joseph DeCuis Farm across the street, mm -hmm. or we have another la gal that we source through locally. Yeah. We go to John's Meat Market to get our meats. Um, and again, we're just looking at finding that local, local place to be able to find our stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we, Lavender Valley Farms is oh. a lavender store that's right mm -hmm. here in town. Um, they grow all of their own lavender and they make an apple butter that we use for a Monte Cristo sandwich. Okay, I love this. <laughs> I love lavender. It's literally my favorite herb, flower ever. Ooh. And so can you put some of this on this bread? Like, it, oh it's actually goodness. on our Monte Cristo sandwich oh. that we'll try. Okay. Mmm, smells so good. I love lavender so much and I'm excited about tasting these pastries. So can you tell me about them? You know what? Let me bring over the bread guy. He's Zach okay. and he can tell you all about hey, his pastries. Zach. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome. Come on up. These pastries are beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, so I would love to taste them. So share with me this one. This one looks really interesting. So that's my cream cheese Danish. Okay. We got to have our, our absolute basics yeah. here. So a simple mm -hmm. cream cheese, not too sweet but just enough to just sate that meat that everyone has. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to have that little extra sweetness, we got a peach crunch that is just outstanding. Mm. Just gets that whole flavor of the peach in there and the little bits of oatmeal and brown sugar, just oatmeal, yes. phenomenal. Okay, mm -hmm. that cream cheese one was great. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And these are baked fresh every day? Yep. We, we make all of our pastries. Everything that we make is completely by hand. No uh, extra added ingredients, like no dough conditioners, no preservatives. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also have our croissants and chocolate croissants. Yes. It's a little taste of Paris, been equated to what people have had sitting under the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. The chocolate croissants are 44% dark chocolate that we get imported oh, from France no. just for this. Very nice. Very nice. Well, it's delicious. Like you said, it's not too sweet. I'm not a super sweety girl, so I love that. It's a really nice balance and it's delicious. So thanks for sharing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, that was so fun meeting the bread guy and learning about the breads that you source here. And I'm excited to try your new menu. Me too. Yes. Okay. So we'll try the new menu and we'll also do some wine tasting because yes. this is a wine bar. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, you all stay tuned for what's next at Monte Cristo Wine Bar. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com.
Sunday, CBS presents music's biggest matchup. ABBA, Adele, Bad Bunny, Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Brandi Carlile, Coldplay, Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, Harry Styles, all nominated for Album of the Year, Sunday. The Grammys, live 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. I am here at Monte Cristo Wine Bar, offering cute and charming food and an amazing ambiance. And joining me is Erin, the owner. And so Erin, I know that you have prepared a few selections for yes. me to taste. So let's start off, share with me about your cuisine. What type of food do you serve here? Well, we serve a lot of comfort food, mm -hmm. but in a little bit healthier way. Um, so right behind you, we have the Monte Cristo sandwich. Okay, right here? Yes. Okay, so there's two options for that. One is made with ham. Mm -hmm. The other one is made with bacon. Um, the bread that we're using is from the bread guy. It's a challah bread mm -hmm. that we use. Mm -hmm. um, so it's in, traditionally, a Monte Cristo is fried and battered, and this instead is grilled. So we have, you know, our nice fresh eggs that we're using mm -hmm. on it. And again, we're just making it a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do serve it typically with fresh fruit. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the bacon. Mm -hmm. This is the ham. It is. And so share with me what is inside. Like what, what are the ingredients to a Monte Cristo? So typically with a Monte Cristo, you have your meat, in this case either bacon or ham, mm -hmm. um, a Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. um, and then it's uh, rolled around, it's kind of like a, a French toast on the outside. Mm -hmm. And again, traditionally it's typically fried, um, but we grill it to make it a little healthier. And you have the jam yes. in it, it's yes. so good. Yes. Okay, tell us so about it. We did use the lavender apple butter jam mm -hmm. in there. Um, it just gives mm -hmm. it that little pop. Mm -hmm. Again, traditionally you're dipping it into a jam, you're doing that. But I just love the way that apple butter tastes from Lavender Valley Farms. It's yes. so good. It's so, they actually freeze flash their apples. Mm. So it gives you that little bit of a, a, not a sweet taste, more of a sour taste mm -hmm. when you're eating it. And it just goes so well with the meat and the cheese. Yes, so yummy. Yeah. And of course you offer wine here. We do. So tell me about the selection that you chose. So this one is a Chardonnay. It's really oaky and buttery and it goes great with our sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, you get that nice sour flavor from the sandwich mm. and it gives you that really nice um, oaky flavor with yes. the Chardonnay. Okay, it does pair very well. And look at this sandwich, that is a beauty. Yeah, so this is our Asiago cheese bagel. Um, you can actually choose from several of the different bagels from the bread guy. Uh -huh. And then we'll add bacon, egg, and cheese to it. Mmm, it's so pretty. Isn't it nice? Mmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. nice, so these are breakfast selections. Yeah, so really we do breakfast at any time mm -hmm. uh, or lunch at any time. So if you'd rather have a panini for breakfast, you are welcome to it. Wonderful. So Erin, you have new items for yes. me to try. Yes. I'm so excited. But first, we have to talk about the special beer. Yes. Made just for you. Tell me all about it. It is. So Fortlandia is a local beer company in Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. um, they're right on Spring Street. Um, I go way back with the family who own it and uh, let them know that I was opening up a bar here. Mm -hmm. And he said, I have something for you. And he brought me down several different flavors to try, and they actually made us a Monte Cristo beer. That is so cool. Okay, yeah. and you say it's spicy. It Pour is. Me some. I'm gonna taste it. I'm really excited. I yes. like beer. Good. I've never had spicy beer with the actual pepper on top. Yes. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> And I have some seeds. <laughs> so my throat. No, it's not that hot though. It's, it's not. It's good. It, it has, has a, a little good bit flavor. To it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And that's one of the nice things about Fortlandia beers is that all of their beers are artisan beers and they're really good flavors. So it's yes. not just about the spice, uh -huh. which is unique, yes. um, but it's it's also about that flavor that comes through with it. Yeah. And it pairs so well with the food. Yes, okay, so let's get started. Yes. What do we have first? Okay. So this is the apple ham and Swiss. Oh. Um, and it is paired with 
fresh veggies. Okay, have a panini here. Yes. Looks yummy. Mm-hmm. What was the influence behind this? You know, I my family has an apple orchard and we would always go out and pick apples and I just loved that and I thought, you know, I'm not a huge fan of lettuce, especially warm lettuce when mm -hmm. it's on a panini. Mm -hmm. But I love apples. So it gives you that nice crisp like you would get from a lettuce, mm -hmm. but it gives you that little bit of a tang, a little bit of that tart from the apple, because it's a Granny Smith apple, so a little bit of that tart. Um, you have a sweet um, mayo on there, along with a honey uh, mustard on there. Okay. And it just gives oh, you, it, yes. they're just such a nice pairing. Everything's nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. um, one thing with our paninis that I just absolutely love is that every bite tastes the same. So we make sure, oh, and, okay. you know, all Balance. of the apples are completely across. Mm -hmm. All of the cheese is completely, so every bite you get is going to taste exactly the same. I love that. It yeah. is so refreshing. It is, like the apple, who knew? Yes. Add a green apple know, on a right? sandwich. But yeah. no, it's, it's very light. Um, it'll make a great lunch, because I don't, it, you don't feel heavy from it. Yes. And I love what you said about the lettuce, because I hate soggy lettuce too. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here in the middle? So here we have pretzels, again from Ooh, the bread guy. Yes. Um, couple of different mustards that you can try with it. Mm -hmm. Also um, a beer cheese, okay. and then a candied, jalapeno um, cream cheese to go along with it. How so they're just kind of a tear is. apart. It's really good to share with a friend. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can just kind of dip in there with the different flavors. Okay, Erin, well I'm gonna try one at a time. So tell me, okay. what is this? So this is the beer cheese. Beer cheese, okay. What is beer cheese exactly? Well, it's mixed with a yingling beer. Mm -hmm. And you get that nice cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. We actually turn that into a soup in the winter time and do a bread bowl with beer cheese soup. Oh, yum. Yes. Okay, yes, so good. I can see that. Okay, what yep. is this one? So this one is a spicy mustard. Oh, I love spicy mustard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It has a tang to it. It does, mm -hmm. it does. Excellent. The next one is a sweet honey mustard. It's the same one that we use for the sandwich. Okay. I like that taste. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And it has a real richness to it. It does. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then the last one is the candied jalapeno cream cheese. That one also is really good with the bagels. Really? Yeah. Okay, that sounds delicious. Let me pick this one up. Okay. Okay. Candied jalapeno cream cheese. Yes. And you gotta do cream cheese right. You exactly. really gotta dip it. <laughs> exactly. Good mm -hmm. stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So creative. So, what made you create these pairings? You know, it's all just things that we like. Mm -hmm. um, so, Zach and I sat down one day, and and while we were deciding what we were going to expand the menu with, like what he had that he could bring, mm -hmm. what I had already, and, and and things that we liked, this was it. Yes. <laughs> and then we went and got one because we were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that you describe this area, um, the shopping center that you all are in, or really, I wouldn't even call it a shopping center. I would call it just a friendly shopping experience, yeah, right? Okay, yeah. so, and you describe it as a Hallmark movie. <laughs> it is, it is. It is my goal in life to get our town on Hallmark Channel. I, I want a movie here so bad. Yes, okay, I can feel the vibe. And then <laughs> lastly. Yes. This is a spicy chicken sandwich. So it does have avocado. Um, we uh, bake our chicken so it's nice and tender. Um, we have peppers with that. It also has a cheese and then we have a little bit of spice with some sriracha. Mmm, mm, it's a sauce. Um, the sauce is sriracha. Mmm. Mm-hmm. We mix that with Duke's mayonnaise, mm -hmm. so it gives that nice creamy, but also that, I, I love sriracha because it has flavor, not just heat. Right. Yeah. That is so flavorful. Good. So good, and you say there's peppers, there's um, red bell peppers? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good, and of course with the fry. Yes, yeah, so these fries are air fries, mm. so they're a little bit healthier mm -hmm. for you. All right, Erin, thank you so much You're for so letting me try your different items. So tasty, so light, and you know I have to let you all know which one is my favorite pick. 
It's gonna be hard, okay, because the sandwiches are so good, but I wanna say my favorite pick is the green apple sandwich. Good, yes, yes. yes. Thank you so much, yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely, and then of course, this spicy beer. So you have to come out to Monte Cristo Wine Bar and try out these items, taste the beer, and let me know what you think. We'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back. This segment sponsored by Monte Cristo Wine Bar. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, if you wanna catch up on Living Local 15, head over to wayne.com backslash Living Local 15. And this weekend is the Grammys happening on Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on Wayne 15. I hope you have an amazing weekend, get some rest, have some fun, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Go to the Living Local 15 page on wayne.com for recipes from the show, to watch a segment again, and to get information on products and services featured on Living Local 15. segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.